Hey guys, um, today I just got Injustice 2, and, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play the story mode, and probably do a fight, um, as soon as I load in, but, I'm just gonna, this is just gonna be a series, um, um, of the story mode, so, yeah. So every time I do one of these, um, I'm going to, to be doing one fight using somebody. Raphael. approaching Arkham Asylum. Surrender to Darkseid or face death. Let's just see who taps first. This is no way to please your master. Begin. <laughs> Oh yeah, in June I might be posting a lot more VR because I'm gonna get a, I might get a laptop so I can post more VR content. But go into destroy mode. Oh no. Don't mind the PS notification still showing up.
He's dead. That freaking headshot. Don't look at that thing. Don't look at the text. Don't, don't, don't. I'll just try to edit it out. That's just terrible. <laughs> oh Mother! Kara, come quickly! I'm not finding you rude, but that place so much that Abraham did to Stay with me, Kara. Mother, the ship, it just... Argo City's gone. Millions of people. It's only the beginning. Brainiacs destabilize the planet's core. Krypton won't hold together much longer. But all your research, isn't there something you can do? That's why we're here. A spaceship. That's what you've been working on? Your uncle Jor-El discovered a planet that can sustain Kryptonians far away from Brainiac. He's built a ship just like this for your cousin Cal. But Cal, he's just a baby. Which is why you'll need to protect him. Teach him our ways. We teach him. What about you? No. No. No, I won't leave you. Please. Please don't make me. I can't come with you, but you'll never be alone. You belong to the house of El, Kara. A house of hope. Never forget that. Never give up hope. Get in. If y'all don't get it, she didn't have her powers right now because she was, um, like, little, and I think she got her powers injected it into her. So I think that's what happened. Or I'm just complete yeah, I'm completely wrong. She didn't know she had her powers, I think. In my years fighting crime, I've learned one truth. That every villain is the hero of his own story. Superman was no exception. The Joker drugged him, tricked him into killing his pregnant wife Lois, and made him trigger the bomb that nuked Metropolis. So when Superman killed the Joker, I understood why. We all did. But once that line was crossed, there was no going back. 
Did he tell everybody he that he gave he's himself Batman? and the Justice League a new mandate? Stop all crime before it happened, by any means necessary. But he couldn't see his good intentions were leading him down a path of tyranny and evil. That's how our greatest hero became our greatest threat. So what if Superman's pulling criminals out of Arkham? They're the worst of the worst. He's going to kill them, Damien. Sounds like justice to me. Killing people isn't justice. Superman can't see that. He's grieving. He needs time to heal. Yeah, and what if it had been Gotham? If Joker had killed me, your own son? Thought you'd say that. It's not responding. We're being taken to the back cave. Prepare to eject. Shot cyborg. I won't hurt you unless I have to. You're gonna have to. My friends were in Metropolis, Batman. Starfire, Beast Boy, gone. We do this. That never happens again. You're right to be angry, but it's not a blank check. And the Justice League isn't a death squad. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss you. I'm not dead yet. Superman's wrong. Your glider skills need work. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Let's go. <laughs> So you won't kill me. 